Who wants to guess about my next project? <laughs> um, there was there was a little oopsie. First of all, um, if you saw my last post, I got kicked out of the monetization program because <laughs> um, in part, I just haven't been posting enough. But I have been working so much lately, filming so much content, preparing so much content. But I just have to have all my ducks in a row because a lot of it's interconnected. And I didn't post enough. And I lost my monetization, which I've had for years, which is really huge for a small business owner. <laughs> so um, I appreciate any watch time and your pity. But anyway, <laughs> let's talk about one of these projects and how it went terribly wrong. Um, I'm not going to tell you what it is. I'm going to let you guess based upon what I'm going to show you. So there is a project that involves many physical components and lots of spray paint lots of angles and nooks and crannies and I spent at least two weeks working on this part of that being priming and spray painting and finally at the end of that two hours two hours before the final layer on the final pieces was supposed to be cured I hear thunder outside and I'm like, Oh, I'm going to bring my projects in. They're not supposed to be in humidity. Right. Uh, and I want them rained on, even though they were kind of protected. Uh, I go, I go outside <laughs> and my boxes that were set on stairs outside, um, that have the components in them that I, you know, I use the, the box to protect everywhere from the spray paint. <laughs> Apparently the winds the night before had been really bad or something because two of them had, had blown off, making one big piece crash onto another big piece and one just smash on the ground. And they are metal components, <laughs> but it scratched all the way down to the final or to the original finish, um, or to raw metal. <laughs> reprime and respray paint and and you know I should have done a better job of like pr protecting it because <laughs> there was a, a lot of primer that went everywhere um and so I have to repaint even more of the pieces um I'm not crying you're crying <laughs> and the frustrating thing too is after I got the primer on like immediately storm crowd storm clouds I can't talk came on in and have been here like all week and you're not supposed to spray paint in high humidity I live in a desert so it's usually like cool it's gonna be like 95 this is gonna dry super great but when those stormy times hit rude <laughs> anyway I am like I was in the home church two hours after more than two weeks guys <laughs> Two hours left and I realized my project is destroyed. Um, so anyway, I'm going to show you the component. Uh, as you can see on this side, it's supposed to be black, except for that's not a pristine black anymore because some of the primer got inside. It wasn't trying to get that inside, but you know, I'm excited to respray paint the inside too. Um, here's the back side. It had gashes on the back uh, because of how it landed on another piece of metal. So had to respray that. And I think it maybe had some dings on the sides too. Uh, I'm going to have to spray that again. But what's your guess? What do you think this belongs to? This is one of many pieces. Not everything is metal. There is plastic as well. Different kinds of plastic too. Uh, yeah. So that's my sob story. I lost my monetization. I lost my project in the last stretch. Um, and you know what? <laughs> There's another project that uh, involves books. I'm an author. I publish a lot of books. And I was like, cool. I did all the graphic design. I did all the formatting. Like, these are going to be fun craft book projects. And then I just got the proofs in the mail. <laughs> and I have to redo all of them. A couple of them. Like, three of them are super minor super minor adjustments um but a couple of them are gonna need some serious rehaul rehauls i'm tired 
I can't think of the proper words. Anyway, um, so I'm having my pity party. I'm going to go have maybe a root beer float or something. <laughs> I hope you're having a better day. I appreciate your support, guys. I do. Um, I wish I had more time for crafts. Like I said, I'm, I'm running a business and it is chaotic. And right now I'm training an employee, which takes like way more time. Anyway, I could go on a whole thing. I'm not going to. I'm not going to. Um, have a good day, guys.